Hi everyone, this is Christian from eastbaytrainer.com and this is our fourth and last segment of how to hire your personal trainer. Um, if you already have a personal trainer, these are my top 10 things on why you should fire your trainer right now and why you should go and look for a new one. Number one, you definitely don't want to be a trainer that's consistently late. You're paying for the, your time, your time is extremely valuable. And so you want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth. So you don't, you definitely don't want to be with a trainer that's constantly walking in late into session with you. Number two, um, a trainer that doesn't return your phone calls, your text messaging, or your emails. Again, that's another thing that uh, that's part of what the trainer's job is is to follow up with you. And I, I can't tell you what's more irritating someone that doesn't return you know my phone calls, especially if I'm paying a lot you know thousands of dollars for someone's service. Number three, don't follow through with what they say. I know there's a lot of trainers out there, particularly in corporate gyms, that say, hey, we'll do measurements every single week, or we'll do body fat and circumference measurements at the, at the end of every single month, or we'll, I'll help you with your nutrition and talk to you about your meal plans. And most of these trainers never follow through with what they're going to say. A lot of them just kind of say that just to get you to sign up, and that's not the right thing to do. You definitely want to find a trainer that's going to be consistent with you every single week and every single month to help you get to your fitness goals. Number four. Uh, you want to make sure that that trainer isn't putting you through the same boring routines and exercises every single week. A part of the trainer's job is to make sure that you're not doing the same workout program every single month. That's the way you're going. That's the way that you're not going to see any results. You definitely want to be with someone that's going to keep challenging you. That's going to be creative and fun within their workout programs, and that's the only way that you're truly going to see any type of significant results. You don't want to be with the trainer that seems like they don't like your company. And a lot of the times I see a lot of trainers that are in session and the client's talking to them and the trainer seems really, really disinterested. And that's something that you don't want to do. When someone is like that with you, most likely they really don't care about you or your fitness goals. They're just kind of there to pick up a check. So keep an eye out for that kind of trainer. Um, checking themselves out in the mirror while they should be checking you and making sure that you're doing your form right. And I know a lot of uh, young trainers out there or corporate gym trainers, they're, you know, they're not really paying attention when, when they're in session. So you definitely want to be with someone that's going to give you their undivided attention because they're paying you a lot of money. Um, not caring about you not showing up for your appointment or you canceling on your appointment. I know with a lot of my clients, uh, if they don't show up or if they have to cancel, I, I give them a hard time because I, I care about them and I care about them getting the results. The only way you're going to get results is to come in consistently and chances are if you're not coming in consistently it's probably because your trainer is not motivating you on a regular basis so that's a red flag right there that you should definitely look into finding another personal trainer um, next one is a trainer that's not listening to what you want to do and what your needs are if you're looking for weight loss and the trainer and your trainer is in the gym with you making you press heavy weight he's not listening to your needs or what you want to do if you want to work on your hips thighs and the trainer is working on a bench press with you, that's just a sign that that trainer is not really listening to your needs. So if you're not happy with the workouts, you definitely have to uh, part your ways with that trainer and look for another one. Uh, you don't want to be with a trainer that's unprofessional. And these are my top two things that I see a lot of male trainers do with their female clients, making sexual references towards them or, to, or about um, other women. And that's someone that you don't want to be with. Um, pretty much means that they have other um, things on their mind besides helping you. Um, and the last one, number 10, if you don't, you definitely don't want to be with a trainer that talks about them all day long or brings their personal problems into session. That is your time. Um, it's a value time. You're paying for that time. So if anyone should be listening to you, any type of conversation that's going on in the session, it should be about you. So you shouldn't be with a trainer that's going to dump all their baggage on you while you're in session. So those are my top things to look out for. If you have a personal trainer right now and they're doing at least three of those top 10 things, you should definitely you know get rid of them and look for another trainer because they're not very supportive and they're not very professional at all. So those are our four segments. I hope it was very helpful. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below.